beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It is not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that this is the Twin Flame reading. If you're single looking for new love, um, I did do a singles reading for your sign a couple of days ago, so please check that out. This reading is specifically for those people who feel like they're in a twin flame connection and they're currently in separation. This is a check-in energy read, so uh, just please be mindful what reading you're listening to. I don't want to waste anyone's beautiful time there. So let's get straight to it, my beautiful Aquarians. This reading, I'm doing it on the 22nd of June, 2021, so it's good right through to the 22nd of July, 2021. Let's see what they've got in store, what they want to talk about. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? First of all, we have imprisonment, okay? So there's an energy here of feeling stuck, feeling like um, stuck in a rut or maybe feeling like um, this person, has, you've done as much as you can within this situation and there's nothing more you can do, Aquarius. You feel like, you know, it's, you may feel like helpless in this situation with your twin flame at this moment in time. Also, they're really highlighting that rat for me at this minute in time. So they're really indicating that uh, some sort of behavior has gone on there for you to um, either feel suspicious or feel, um, I'm going to pull a card on it and see what it is here, but it's almost like you thought that this was going to be a secure relationship, something to settle down into, uh, but what they're indicating here is that uh, there's a feeling of trapped coming through on this card, okay? So I don't often get this uh, feeling with this card. It's come up uh, in a couple of the Twin Flame readings, but I'm, I'm picking up a different energy with it uh, in this particular one. We've also got Journey there. It's number 10. When you reduce it, um, uh, sorry, when you reduce this one, 29, um, it's number 11. So that's the soul path number. So what they're indicating here that you and your twin, you're, you're meant to sort of, uh, if you don't know what a twin flame journey is, please check it out online because I don't want these readings to be like uh, 2 million hours long for you all. Uh, but it often indicates, uh, sorry, it often t entails someone spiritually ascending faster than the other and there being a separation period and when both parties um, rise in their vibration have a, a vibrational upgrade uh, they come back in union now it often is a very tough journey very painful in that separation process uh, it's not for the faint-hearted that's for sure and often people give up on their twin flame journeys uh, because it's just too difficult um, I do not condone anyone waiting around for anybody okay that is not what it's about it's about getting on with your life and putting yourself first that is the lesson to learn in a twin flame journey and then all else uh, goes from there anyway let's move on um, so what I'm getting um, is that this person, it's almost like you and this person, your twin flame, you know that this person is meant for you, but and you know that this person was put in your path for a reason, but there is a feeling of stuck. You know, there, there's um, a lack of control. Uh, you may feel powerless in this situation. So I'm gonna pull a card on that one. The journey card indicates this person is working really hard to look at the baggage. Uh, I feel like this person, they're on a spiritual, um, I feel like they're spiritually changing at this moment in time, but I really feel like they're looking back at their past, either their past relationships or their foundation from when they uh, grew up. Uh, but I will clarify that energy as well. Um, because I feel like what I'm getting with this card is that this person, they're looking at their baggage and they're recognizing how it leads nowhere. Okay, can you see that? Uh, it's the first time I really noticed that in this card. They're really pointing it out to me at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of baggage there, and there's like a little tiny little la step ladder going onto the train, but actually it's not going on the train. It's going nowhere. It's actually, uh, it's waiting for the train to come in, or it's, it's missed the train, perhaps, um, and the train is now moving out. It looks like it's going in this direction, though, so... Um, Maybe this person's ready to re relieve themselves of the baggage because it has brought them nothing, but, you know, they're standing alone. I feel like this person really wants to be in a union, your twin flame, uh, but they're looking at, a, a, 
their position from a solitary energy. And number 10 is the Wheel of Fortune. So uh, it's indicating that this person's making changes. Now, the Wheel of Fortune often indicates, you know, the cycle of life, you know, recognizing where you are in this moment, the ups and downs. We all go through them, Aquarius. It's natural. It's human nature. Sometimes the things are great. Sometimes they're ugly. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person's making changes to be on the up. Um, we've also got despair. So this person, uh, now I'm not here to take anyone's side in this reading. I'm not here to say she said, he said, they said, they did. I'm not here to do that or blame. I'm here to try and understand the energy that's coming through on the cards and um, transmute that energy to the present moment and the future, okay? So, um, but they've given the despair card. Now I'm getting, they're showing me a mirror. When they show me a mirror, um, that is often means that there is despair on both sides um, because twin flame energy is often mirrored energy. It flips, okay? So uh, it can be read either or. But right now, this particular card they're indicating is for both. So uh, I will pull a card on that. It's also number 32 when you reduce it. Three plus two is five. Fives are the number of obstacles or challenges, okay? So there's a real energy here. Either I feel like this person left you out in the cold. Aquarius, I feel like this person abandoned the situation. You may be also feeling like you look at uh, other people and how they manage to have a, a union that's fine. You know, how is it other people can meet their person and connect to their person? And why is it so difficult for you to connect with the person that you truly wanted to be with? Um, now, there's something here about this person. Um, I feel like this person, your twin flame, is really... Uh, they're cutting down their friendship circle. So I feel like there's... Uh, this person, I feel like they've placed some trust in a friendship circle and they feel like they've outgrown them. I feel like this person's, um, yeah, they're shedding some friends here. Uh, I'll pull another card on that. we got courthouse. So I think your person's going really through the ringer here. Uh, the courthouse indicates that there is, again, it's a number of obstacles. We've got 23 there. This person, as I said, I'm not here to say, oh, poor your twin flame, poor boohoo, poor them. I'm trying to understand the energy. Equally, I'm not here to say, uh, poor you, Aquarius. Like, I'm sending you a huge hug because the separation period is so difficult. Uh, you know, I've navigated it myself. Uh, the courthouse, um, it, it feels like something in this person's world is crumbling, and I feel like they're... Um, shedding friends that they feel do not serve them anymore or uh, you know they're feeling really stuck wherever they are okay so uh, when that happens Aquarius sometimes our twin flame reaches out to us when they're feeling um, that no one else is there for them to turn to um, now you don't want them to come towards you in a codependent kind of energy because you're not someone's mom or dad right you're not there to bail them out every time that they get into a sort of um, you know into difficulty of course you love this person you want to be there for them but you don't want to be their emotional crutch right uh, so let me just see thank you so much spirit guides okay so um the full card this person's feeling pretty hopeless okay they've lost a lot of hope where they're at they're feeling pretty alone um and we got the star card in the reverse. Uh, now I'm not here to, I'm not medically trained to talk about this Aquarius, but um, there's an energy of depression here. Also Aquarius, this is your card. So I feel very much like you could be dealing with a, another Aquarius, but also you could be dealing with someone who's Aries placement or a water placement. Um, this person, what I'm getting is that this person, um, they've resisted the connection with you. Uh, they have really, um, there's been a lot of struggle here. This person has really confused you. They've uh, left you in moments of despair and heartbreak. Of I mean, of course, that's obvious, but I feel like you've had a real test of faith when it comes to love. And I feel like this person, this person was your, your wish come true at some point and they, and you were theirs, okay? But this person, now either, Aquarius, you've decided to stop talking to this person. Uh, you've taken back the power and said, I'm not doing this anymore and you've gone silent, someone's ignoring somebody, okay? That's what I'm getting with this card. The star card in the reverse indicates, um, you know, there is a resistance here. Um, there is, there's a lack of faith in the whole thing, and I feel there's a cynicism. I feel like you may be thinking about looking elsewhere for love, even though deep down you wanted to be with your twin flame. I feel like you've given this person a lot of chances. Yeah. Um, 
we got the magician card we got the wheel of fortune so this person feels like uh they feel like they're stuck in a rut i feel you aquarius feel also slightly trapped in this union and you may be trying to manifest something new elsewhere love elsewhere because it's been really difficult okay i feel like you've been questioning the twin flame journey feeling like is this really my person okay this person is having a spiritual uh, awakening they're having a they are um making some changes um I'm going to pull cards separately on this to see if they're making a journey towards you, Aquarius. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. King of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Now, as I said, I'm doing this reading up to the uh, to the 22nd of July 2021 what I've got here with the king of wands in the reverse Aries energy and again Aquarius this is your energy the page of swords there there's an energy here that this person um, they're not ready to talk yet okay so I'm going to try and find out what's going on in their world uh, I have to give it to you as I'm getting it this person's definitely checking you out online or asking about you they're very curious about you but I Either this person is going through some sort of financial difficulty or going through some sort of tax issue or some sort of legal issue here. This person is super focused on that. Okay. I mean, maybe even your person is incarcerated at this time. Uh, Aquarius, please take it as it resonates. That's not going to resonate for everyone, but they'll give me a small energy here as well of that. There's a stuck energy. Um, this person's not ready to come towards you to talk. Okay, that doesn't mean they don't want to be with you. That doesn't mean that they're not going to come towards you. Um, but the, the major energy right now is this person's feeling like they, they cannot talk. Uh, they, they've got stuff going on. Can you please clarify the despair card? Okay. I don't want to influence the way the cards come. As you can see, they just pop out. I'm not here to... Okay, we got the four of uh, swords. It's in the reverse. This person... Um, they're doing uh, they've got a lot of anxiety right now i feel like they're really um they're really restless they're kind of like headless chicken energy right now um and we got the seven of pentacles in the reverse this person um i feel like this person they're looking at how they gave up too soon on the uh, relationship and they they're looking at how they did not invest in the relationship um I feel like they do feel a lot of anxiety uh, but right now and I have to give it where I'm getting it Aquarius I feel like this person's um, looking within themselves rather than outward I feel like this person is thinking about what's going on I feel like they're having a bit of a tower moment okay um, as I said that doesn't mean they're not going to come towards you let's see what the overall energy is um, but this is the current energy uh, so let's see uh, the overall energy for the time period um, that I've set because I feel like right now um, nothing's happening stagnant energy you may feel like you've had you're at your wits end with this you may feel that despair that level of like I don't even know what happened there you feel like this person was avoidant uh, threw you into chaos chaos um, I mean either this person or you are separated in maybe you were in a high level commitment like marriage or maybe you're getting a divorce from your person I just don't feel that strong energy I'm just what I'm feeling like this person I just feel like it's to do with money or business I feel like everything is crumbling and I mean we're going through a major pandemic at the moment so a lot of people are losing their livelihoods and being made redundant and all of those things so it is a really horrendous time for everybody um, so I, I'm going to try and understand the energy that's coming through. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you give me the overall energy for my beautiful Aquarius? What do they need to know? Uh, we got the Lovers card. This person, they know that you're Twin Flame. We do have the Chariot card here, so this person will be taking action, but it's in the resistance position. So they're indicating that right now there's a stagnant energy. Nothing is happening right now, okay? I wish you know that already, Aquarius, right? You don't need me to tell you that. Um, we got the Hierophant, so they do want to be in a high-level commitment with you. This is the unified position. So they're indicating here with this unified position, there is a potential for you and this person to be in a high level committed relationship, but there is a lot of knowledge that is being learnt. Now, I feel, of course, it's a very painful lesson, Aquarius, um, but let's see um, what I'm getting with this lover's card. Okay, the lover's card, uh, you've probably heard me say this many, many times, but the lover's card used to be called the choice, okay? Uh, now, the choice indicates um, that you and this person, um, 
it's interesting because this person bizarrely they're saying I would choose Aquarius again every time every time I'm gonna pull a quick card on that uh, I feel like this person uh, there's a lot of love for you here this person does want to rebirth a connection with you they do want to um, come towards you and rekindle something how would you like to receive uh, this person's losing money or they're separating from somebody at the moment because uh, we got the Hierophant in the reverse. So either you know your person was in a committed relationship elsewhere uh, or, or even a marriage elsewhere. Um, now, the Hierophant doesn't always have to be about marriage. It can be about an institution. It can be about, you know, business, an establishment, some sort of um, structure that is what a person works within. Uh, but we got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse as well. So this indicates either this person is, uh, you know, losing money or uh, going through some sort of um, tumultuous time and they're separating from something that uh, they built, like a structure. This person had a plan. Uh, the plan is not working right now. Um, so I feel like this person, um, either they're, you know, as I said, either getting a divorce uh, going through some sort of legalities, uh, they're losing money over it. Um, so they're indicating this person would choose you every time, but they're going through something. Okay, now either this could also be that uh, this person is separated from your home if you're in a high level committed relationship and you're actually just taking some time out, even though you're married, you may be separated at this time. Seeing you know, taking that breather because the twin flame, you know, union, you always take a separation period. Um, I'm just going to go one more. Okay, so right now this person, um, they've everything that's happening here, this person is feeling like it's all, the dream that they once had is just not happening. It's crumbling with that nine of pentacles, sorry, the nine of cups there in the reverse. Um, this, now this person is the sort of person who may have looked for quick results in the past. We got the seven of cups there as well. So there's an indication here that this person's got commitment issues to you at this time. I mean, you knew that again already. Again, I don't really want to say anything that's obvious here, but the lover's card indicates that they are aware that there is love here. This person has a deep connection to you, okay? The choice, the strength of you two being together, um, I feel like there's unification, there's motivation to want to be with each other in a high-level committed relationship, but they're indicating not right now. Okay, um, this is, so it's not never, it's just not right now is what they're giving me. Let, let's see as the uh, month goes on what's happening there. But they're indicating they're choosing you. Now this is a Gemini energy. We've also got Cancerian energy and we've got Taurus energy here. Um, so because we've got the chariot in the antagonist position, they're indicating that there is a current stalemate or um, uh, there's a loss of control. This person is... And again, I'm not here to make anyone, uh, you know, oh, wow. I really wish that I could show you right now what is happening. Um, my, plant, my plant is literally dancing. What is... I really wish I could have shown you what happened there because it's stopping now. Um, oh, my gosh. I wouldn't make it in time to run over there and film it. But it just caught my eye. So um, my guides... Uh, I don't know which guy did that because normally I can uh, tell the energy, but I feel this is an unfamiliar energy that's coming through here. Aquarius it always happens in your readings. It's really interesting. You know why? Because my grandmother is Aquarius, you see. Uh, she likes to play tricks. She's a little trickster. I love her so much. Um, but obviously past guides, guides me all the time. Incredible. But I'm not feeling her right now, so that's really interesting. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, the chariot card indicates here um, that... This person cannot move forward at this time, but I feel like this is the cha this is the challenge energy to um, overcome. It's like this position is the resistance position. They can't move forward like we got it in the reverse, but they're uh, during the time period that I've set, uh, their intention here is to move towards you. So they will be moving towards you at some point. Um, 
we'll see when that is. Oh, we got a little bit of energy joining now. Uh, the candle's flickering here. So you'll start to see uh, a little bit more because I feel the energy is ramping up here. Uh, you may be able to feel it too. I'm getting true chills. Uh, we got the Hierophant here. So this indicates this your person is working towards a high level of commitment. They're, they're doing a lot of uh, learning here, a lot of knowledge. Uh, is It's a tough lesson, but I feel like they've already taught you a, t a very tough lesson in love. This person... Um, very blocked in how they express themselves. Uh, this person does not open up. Uh, they're really highlighting that this person, um, now either this person has taken some sort of substance in the past, uh, let me, because they're really highlighting this person's third eye is really blocked due to something they're taking. I never really get that energy. Let me have a look at that. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? Um, so either this person is on some sort of medication for depression. As I said, I'm not medically trained to talk about that, uh, but I'm trying to understand it. Uh, the Knight of Wands, okay? Knight of Wands is a very transitory energy. They have moments of lucidity and moments of feeling like... Um, it's almost like... How can I put that? Uh, they... they see, they see themselves settling down with you at moments and then moments where they're very sexualized. Now, this is going to be a, for a small amount, Aquarius. Whatever this thing, this thing that they're taking, um, it, I feel like it affects their libido, okay? Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, because I feel like this person yo-yos between insecurity and then feeling like really frisky. Um, I feel like this person... Um, I'm going to go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please? A very complex person we're dealing with here. Uh, this person's receiving some karma. That's what all this is, okay? Uh, uh, unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, I feel like it's quite, kind of cool. Uh, karma catches up with all of us, okay? No matter whether we put out good, the good, the bad, or the ugly, it catches us back in the end. It's like a boomerang, okay? Um, and I feel like this person, uh, whatever... Um, has gone on with you and this person, I feel like uh, they're receiving some karma. Aquarius, expect karma from your side as well. None of us are immune to karma, uh, but I feel very much like this person, whatever they were taking, whatever substance they were taking to block their third eye or being able to see, perhaps this person has the, uh, the, the gift of sight or you do, Aquarius, because they just showed me the mirror again, and uh, there was a, a fear of it. And uh, some sort of substance has blocked the gift of sight or something like that. Um, there is a solution that is going to be found. Okay, uh, so whether it's tapering the, med the, the medication to something else or, um, you know, I feel like this is already happening. You may even have a conversation with your person about this um, in the future. But what they're indicating with the Justice card and the Hierophant is... This person wants to make it right. They want to find a solution. They want to make their way back to you. But whatever is going on here right now, it's keeping them kind of thinking about themselves. Okay? So uh, let's go a little bit deeper and find out what's going on there. This person wants to offer you their, uh, their love because they're showing me right now a Knight of Cups. Okay? Now, obviously, I could just pluck that out of my mind and say, oh, yeah, Aquarius, they're showing me a Knight of Cups. Um, but that that's... They're really highlighting there's a fish head right here. Now, when the fish head is uh, in this card, it indicates it's going to be quite a surprise, but this person offers is going to offer love here. They want unification. The Hierophant is a marriage card, so this person does want to settle down. And the unified position is you and their position coming into unity, okay? So there is a choice, but this person uh, is choosing to delay at this time because they feel like they're not ready. They're dealing with whatever this is. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, what is the heart of the matter? Ace of Swords. Conversation. Action. The swords are about communication, but also meeting of minds. Um, Ace of Swords, you're waiting for a breakthrough, Aquarius. You're waiting for this person to um, show you how they feel. Not just tell you, but show you. You want this person to take action. Um, and you want to be able to overcome obstacles. I feel like there's a conversation here that has never been said uh, something uh, you and this person need to talk about. Uh, I'm going to pull a quick card on that. See what that is. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Yeah. Um, well, it's it's really about action as well, um, about how this person never changes. Um, the Knight of uh, Swords there in the reverse indicates this person, you know, uh, they may say they're going to do something, but they don't. 
act on it. So you need a person of action, Aquarius. Um, I also feel like this person... I feel like you need to have a conversation about the way this person speaks to you because sometimes they knock your confidence uh, and you may feel like they do it on purpose, Aquarius. Uh, there's an energy here of this person. Um, there's a lot of regret. I feel like it's on both sides because, as I said, I'm not here to take sides and, you know, we all say things that we do mean or we don't mean in certain moments, um, depending on the level of frustration and anger that we're in. Uh, so I feel like there's a conversation about the way that it got left. Okay, I also feel there's, it's almost like a do as I say, don't do as I do kind of hypocrisy that's going on here as well. Very rigid rules is, I just get this rigid rules. So either this person tried to uh, inflict some sort of rules on your freedom or something like that. I mean, that's unhealthy behavior, of course, Aquarius. Uh, if you feel like you're uh, in a relationship that is mentally, physically, or verbally abusive, and is uh, you feel like you're in danger with this person, then obviously I do not condone you going back to a relationship like that. Um, that's not twin flame, okay? But if you are in a union that, um, you know, we're all human. We all say things that are hurtful to the other person that we love when we're arguing. Uh, none of us are saints. None of us come with a rule book. We're just living life, trying to do the best that we can. So uh, I'm fully aware that, you know, we're all human and we all say things that we don't mean or do mean um, in order to create a reaction sometimes. Um, so, um, yeah, that's all. I just want to say there are gray areas when you're in a relationship. It's always not like he said, she said, or he said, he said, she said, she said, whatever. Okay. Now the challenge in this situation is the 10 of wands. It's in the reverse. Okay. So there's definitely an indication here. The challenge is the baggage. So much has happened. It's become too much. You want to release that baggage. You want things to be lighter. You want love to be just, you know, why can it not be fun? Why can't, why, why can't you and this person just, you know, be open with each other and not think about all the, the heavy stuff that happened in the past. So I feel like there's a lot that's gone on. I feel like there's ancestral wounding as well in this. I feel like uh, there's um, some wounding that's gone on. This person and you, Aquarius, have been carrying a lot in this union. Yeah, it's what made this, well, as I said, I'm not here to um, condone anyone's actions, but there's some sort of baggage from childhood um, that makes this person run away. They, they're non-committal. This person, um, I feel, sabotages uh, the union um, that they're in, especially the twin flame. This person, you know, of course, you know, this person's the runner, uh, but this person does not want to do that anymore, okay? This person wants to overcome the obstacles. They're releasing the baggage. You know, we've got that journey card. This person is releasing that baggage. They're letting it go. I feel like this person's putting that baggage on the train on its own and just, you know, is walking away from it. Um, but they're going through some things right now, okay? Now, I hate it when people say, they're just going through some things right now. Give them some time. Two years later, they rock up with a text saying, hey, miss you, love you. And you're like, excuse me? Excuse me? Did you lose your fingers in those two years? What happened there? Did you lose your mind? Did you lose your memory? You know, so now you're just coming on in with, hey, miss you. So, you know, I'm not here to condone that action, but um, I'm here to understand what's going on in this moment. Um, and I feel like uh, this person, the chariot card and the hierophant in those positions tells me he, he or she is coming towards you. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Now, I feel like you've lost a lot of hope with this. There's been a huge test of faith in this union. Um, I feel like you didn't want to, but I feel like you think it's, you think it's over, done and done. What is below you, the world? Now, what is deep, deep down though, Aquarius? Below you, at the heart, the root of this relationship, there is some unfinished business. The world card in the reverse indicates there is an unfinished lesson that you and this person have not uh, addressed yet or played out yet. Whether that is to love yourselves fully, uh, unconditionally, in a, in a solitary energy and release all codependency and things like that. Sorry, just, you know, it's, I, I don't know if you caught it on the camera, something's just moving over there on my table. But anyway, I'm just gonna move on from that. 
Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. You know, I'm just going to quickly sage. I'm sure this has happened in your readings before. I'm just going to quickly sage because I'm feeling an unfamiliar energy in this reading. So I just want to um, sage your reading as uh, before I move forward. Uh, just for me. Um, all, you know, self-protection, always most important. Let's move. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. Wonderful to know. Fast forward this bit, of course. <laughs> I just need to make sure. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's move uh, forward. Um, so definitely unfinished business going on here. What's in the recent past? We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles in the recent past position there is an energy of solitary, uh, working on your career. You know, um, you're, you're beautiful both inside and out, Aquarius. Um, I feel like you're coming back to your center. Um, and I also feel like um, you're focusing on building a solid financial um, future for yourself. There's financial gain coming here. I also feel like you're turning heads. But most importantly, um, again, as I said, male or female, not a gender specific reading. Most importantly, what I'm getting here is as you can see, this figure here, uh, Six Pentacles, this person is putting their hand on the Six Pentacles, and there's three Pentacles over here. So she's recognizing that she deserves to reach higher in terms of love and commitment. So what she's doing is she's keeping the Six Pentacles for herself. She's investing in herself first, okay? And she's willing to open up to love and, you know, willing to open up to the twin flame if there's unfinished uh, unresolved business here um but she's only releasing three pentacles she's making sure she's stable and putting herself first so that was the lesson to learn and that is what you've been going through aquarius i feel like you've really been coming back to center and really um honoring yourself trying to build a life of luxury and peace for yourself um what is above my beautiful aquarians just gotta go get that so the potential here how would you like to receive the potential here is the Six of Swords. Um, this is an energy of not being able to move on, okay? Um, feeling stuck. Um, so when we get this energy, it's a necessary transition, a Six of Swords. It's necessary to have a different way of thinking. Um, there's greater wisdom here, but I also feel like, you know, you got two cards, opposing cards of not being able to move on. You and this person are not, there's something here that you and this person either are not addressing um, not having a conversation about or um, so I'm going to pull a quick card on that and see what is the lesson what what is unfinished here what what is it that's left to work out the magician in the reverse I mean that's again if you please look up the meanings of the cards Aquarius um, they're giving me um, each card is unfinished so the, the magician in the reverse indicates unfulfilled potential in this union okay um thank you so much spirit guys great angels the king of cups okay so emotional stability also there may have been emotional manipulation um in this union um there's an energy of unfairness sharp conversation um i feel like this person was emotionally um chaotic okay so it may have made you well of course it would make you feel like you're yeah a lot of sharp energy um with the queen of swords as well the four of pentacles indicates this person um there was definitely a desire for both of you to have long-term security but there was uh, an energy of holding on too tight not opening up and being vulnerable with each other now Aquarius you may have tried you may have opened up your wonderful heart to this person and they got afraid um I mean, there's something about this person that is kind of like off limits to me. I'm not sure why that is. Um, they give me a name, Damien. So um, either your name is Damien or your person's name is Damien. Um, they've also given me Lee. Lee. So if your name is Lee, there's something in this message for you also. Um, the Queen of Swords is someone who 
is, uh, you know, someone who searches for the truth, someone who has clarity of purpose, someone who wants to hear uh, the truth and nothing but the truth. But there's a sharp energy here. So I feel like um, it's almost like an energy of you saying, Aquarius, where do I stand? Tell me, tell me what's going on here. I need to know. Uh, and this person, they just cannot open up. And we got the four of wands there in the reverse, indicating that separation period, uh, arguments, drama. Uh, I'm going to pull another card with a different deck and find out what is it that's going on here? Okay, what, why did this twin flame, what was the problem here? Five of voices, this person sabotages. Five of voices in the reverse, they overthink things. Uh, this person, um, I feel like they want peace, uh, but they cause trouble. They, they cause, it's almost like they cause arguments um, out of fear. You know one of those people who wake up and go, I'm going to have an argument today, I just know it. Um, they may have even said that to you before. I just know it. Um, How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. The Knight of Voices. This person just didn't take action. You've been waiting. Three of Inspiration, waiting. Okay. Uh, well, they want to go one more, so I'm going to give it. How would you like to receive? Page of Emotions. Death card. Um, so this death card is about change. Okay. It's about transition. This person is making the changes. Um, they're trying to release a pattern. The page of emotions in the reverse indicates this person immature energy. There's definitely something from childhood. Whenever I get pages in reverse to do with um, when I'm asking a question about what's going on, why is there fear or why is there what happened there? There's something um, that either they witnessed some sort of breakup or they had a breakup before you. There's, there's some sort of, this person's been hurt before, Aquarius. And again, that's, that's I mean, that's not your issue really here. You're here to understand what's going on with you. But I'm trying to understand why this person was not in, why did, they were not all in in the connection. Um, I feel like this person's really up and down with their emotions, okay? That's the energy that I'm picking up in this reading. Um, you may have sometimes wondered where you stood with them, even on a good day. Uh, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you're like, they just feel like they're checking out. So um, I'm not really sure what that is, but they're indicating here that something here is not done. Okay, Aquarius, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What is in the, in the near future? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, as I said, they're not going to come forward with an offer for you straight away. Uh, yeah, we've got Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We've got Six of Wands in the reverse. Nine of Wands in the reverse. So, all in the reverse, there's only one card that's positive in that reversal uh, is the Knight of Wands. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse indicates this person's losing money. Okay, this person's stressing about going into debt. Okay, um, they may even tell you that. Because you start, the heart of the matter, you start with the present, heart of the matter, This there needs to be a conversation. So this person may tell you about this. Um, this person feels like they're failing at something at the moment. Uh, the six of wands in the reverse. Um, there's a lack of confidence here. This person's retreating because there's other things this person needs to think about in this moment. Okay. Uh, that person, I feel like they, everything's going to work out for them. I feel like things are going to, um, the... I'm going to quickly pull a card on that energy. So if you're a cross watcher and you're going through something right now, a tower moment, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians and their cross watchers? Because I, you know, I gotta be, yeah, things are going to work out. Things are going to be more secure for you. Okay. So just so you're aware, I just wanted to be fair. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, uh, you know, uh, it's almost like you, you'll wait a little bit, but there will be success, okay? It will be, everything will be savable, and there will be emotional security again. Everything will be secure, okay? Um, so don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't like to leave anyone hanging or feeling nervous or upset or anything like that. I really want to check in with the energy. Um, and that's when I feel Aquarius, that when they're feeling more settled um, in whatever's going on, that's when this person wants to come towards you and settle down. The Knight of Wands doesn't want to run anymore, okay? Again, male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. So in the upright, this Knight is uh, sort of goal-oriented. Here today, gone tomorrow. Enjoying the good times. But when things get, you know, tough or heavy, they're gone. 
Um, so, but in the reverse, this person wants to settle down. They don't want to run anymore. Uh, this person may have also used um, sex for in, you know intimacy. They may have um, pushed you away because they didn't want to go deep. Now, what is the advice to uh, themselves? Aquarius, what, Aquarius, what is your advice to yourself? The death card in the reverse. You're feeling a little bit stuck. You, you feel like this is stagnant. There is some sort of... Um, what they're saying to me right now is face off, okay? But there's no face. It's like a stalemate energy. You know, two people uncertain about the future, um, considering options, n both not really wanting to move on, both not really having an answer or making a decision or making a compromise. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> just as I was about to put this card down, they just said hula hula. Hula hula. So either uh, you're hula hula, hula hooping, as you'll see since reading, maybe doing a bit of exercise or something like that, or hula. I mean, the channel on TV is called Hulu, so it's not Hulu, uh, but hula hula. Uh, so I don't know what, maybe that's a, a saying that you and your twin flame had or a nickname or something like that. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It doesn't mean anything for me, so I don't really know. I'm just trying to understand it. But the death card in the reverse indicates you're just at a bit of a loss. You're like, I don't know what to do. There's resistance. I feel very much like, you thought about moving on, but just when you move on, you either hear from this person and they pull you back on in, or you feel like this person's resisting the energy and you know that there's love there, so you're feeling like a, a little bit helpless as to what can happen. Um, because you've done everything you could in this situation, Aquarius. I feel like you can do no more. What is the external circumstances? Um, so the environment, the external circumstances are ripe for a new start. Very painful ending, Aquarius. A lot to process, a lot of baggage to go through. But the 10 in reverse there with that swords indicates a conversation can be a breakthrough. But uh, I feel like there's a new start. There has to be a new start if you and this person wants to be together. Forgiveness and moving on. You don't need me to tell you that. You know that. Um, but they're indicating here circumstances are going to shift in the next, uh, well, they'll give me five to six weeks. Circumstances will shift whatever is going on with this person and it will open them up. Uh, the strawberry moon is about to occur. They're indicating there is a catalyst in that strawberry moon, Aquarius, where you may hear from your, your twin after that, okay? Um, uh, and by that, I mean after that, I mean there'll be like an on-the-surface conversation at first. They'll go deeper a little bit after that, okay? Uh, now, what is a hope and fear in this situation? Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? Well, undecided, uncertainty. You may fear that this person is either juggling you or making you an option, um, but also you're not so sure whether you trust this. There's an energy here of um, trying to weigh up your options. Um, you may hope to see the way clearly, but right now you're feeling a little bit clouded, so you're not so sure. Uh, you don't know the way ahead. Uh, I'm just getting the energy in this whole reading that, you know, you've endured so much. Aquarius with this. This person broke in your heart. The separation is a lot of regret here. Um, on both sides, I feel. Um, I feel there's a lot of woulda, coulda, shoulda conversations that have been happening in your head sometimes, Aquarius. Now, we all do it 3 a.m. thoughts, of course. Um, but the overall energy says you and this person can get to a highly committed relationship. And there's a world, the world in reverse and the six of one, uh, swords in the reverse indicates there's something unfinished. This is not done. This is not over, okay? Now, can we have an outcome? How would you like to receive? Page of Pentacles. Uh, they want one more. I would personally have just left that there, but they said again, so I'm going again. Thank you so much. Okay, so th the way becomes clear. There's no more cloudedness, um, no more inability to commit, no more stalemate. The way is clear. An option has been made, and the option is they choose you. They offer you something that is more committed, okay? Now, it is the start pages bring news, so you will hear from this person. They will offer you, I feel like it's a small, as I said, on the surface offering of a message first, and then it gets a little bit deeper afterwards. But this person, they want to be committed to you, okay? I feel like they want to overcome the obstacles. They want to offer you, but it'll be small. It'll be a small gesture is what they're indicating here. And this person's going to... Um, Give you their heart because they're showing me a, they're showing me a human heart right now um i mean that's pretty excessive to show me a human heart so either you or this person has some sort of heart issue or maybe you used to joke about giving each other 
a heart, but it was actually a human heart. I mean, you would never give someone a human heart, but um, maybe a drawing or something rather than the, you know, the, the heart that people draw. Uh, cliche, not a cliched heart, but you know, I've got no hearts here to show you, but um, they're actually just showing me a human heart, which means uh, it's very raw, open, honest. This person wants to be vulnerable. When they show me a, a human heart, it shows this person wants to offer you their vulnerability. They want to open up to you and they want to make a solid commitment, okay? Very, very um, complex energy this reading, Aquarius. Plus we had some sort of... Um, tricksy kind of energy there. I'm going to have to re uh, look back on the video and see if there was anything going on there. It's a real shame. I know I can't prove nothing. Uh, it's a real shame that I wouldn't have had the time to run over there with the camera because the camera's all like um, harnessed up and everything. It would just ruin your reading. Um, it's a real shame I didn't catch that on camera. Anyway, never mind. Next time, next time. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarius? Now, they're indicating someone right now is heating some warm milk. So if that is you, you're heating some warm milk, whether you're having it in a coffee or whether you're having it as some cocoa or you're just having plain old warm milk, uh, there's something in this message for you. Uh, warm milk is often very comforting, um, but I feel like it's an actual thing someone is doing in this moment. I mean, you may be making some sort of dish to put cold, uh, warm milk into. Maybe you're making some sort of sauce. Uh, what's that sort of sauce? Like bechamel or something like that. I don't, know how, I don't know how you make that. I'm not a domestic goddess. But anyway, uh, let's move on. Um, we got chaos and conflict. Now, it's number 33. When you reduce it, 3 plus 3 is 6. The number of love, okay? You start off with the lover's card, which is number six, the number of love. So um, they're indicating, as you can see, look, there's a, this, this zebra there, they look like a zebra. They're presenting as a, a giraffe in, in, in terms of the outside. So this person, they're really opening up. They're revealing who they truly are, okay? But it's a very chaotic energy at first. Um, they just said, uh, they've said this a couple of times in a couple of readings uh, the last couple of weeks. It's always darkest before the dawn. So this person is having an awakening. Okay, I'm just going to read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong there. Number 33. Uh, now they're showing me a, uh, a little medal. It's a St. Christopher. St. Christopher for travel. So either you are uh, about to go traveling somewhere and you just grabbed your, maybe you're packing and you just grabbed a, a a St. Christopher medal. Now, I'm not here to talk about religion or any of those things, uh, but they're just showing it to me. So uh, it's connecting to somebody out there. If that's you, there's something in this message for you. If it does not resonate for you, doesn't mean it's not your reading. Just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading. I mean, you may have given this person your twin flame uh, a medal like that for travel, um, uh, safe travels and things like that. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, that is for sure. Um, Chaos and conflict. Relationship message. Ooh, it says, stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. I'm not sure you'd see it like that, Aquarius, but okay. But I do feel like it's some sort of stalemate energy, okay? Um, the incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you know you want resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what is really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true... It's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to a higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in for a much better place than before. For the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. Now, as I'm reading that, they're actually, this, this, they started to make this card really glow for me. So it is about during that time was to come back to your center, come back to yourself, Aquarius. I feel like you're doing that already though. Um, so I'm just going to get a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for your guys, for angels. Can you please? No way. Okay. You got the engagement ring. Okay. Uh, I close my eyes when I pick the trinket. Of course you cannot see that. So you do have to trust me on that one, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, I can't really tell when I'm picking up because it's metal, metal against metal. But as soon as I started to lift it, I could feel this part. So I knew you got the engagement ring. So there's definitely union here, definitely a higher level of commitment, okay? Um, that, that's on its way. Whether you want marriage or not, this person wants to commit to you, okay? They're indicating that. Um, but there is a, there is some sort of unfinished lesson here 
one more part of the puzzle that this person needs to ascend to or you do Aquarius uh, and I feel like you and this person can come back into union okay now I thought they'd want it on the Hierophant but they want it on the page of Pentacles this person is going to offer you something solid, something that will grow. I'll leave it there, my beautiful Aquarius. I hope something resonated in this reading. Sorry it was so complex, but that's just the way it had to be. Um, if something resonated, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to be in with a chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is take 10 minutes out of your day to visualize what you want, okay? Whether that's this twin flame to come back, whether it's the job of your dreams, visualize it like you got it, okay? Because thoughts become things. You're actually sending out an order to the universe. So see it like you got it. You can pop it in the comments box below if you wish to share it with the collective. If not, just put the words intention set and I'll gravitate towards one uh, subscriber on the 28th of June and I'll announce that winner in a video upload, okay? I will not put it in the comments boxes below because there's some scammers about pretending to be me. So uh, the less I get involved with uh, sort of um, saying, hey, you won this on that platform down below, um, you know, the less that they can sort of sabotage that and try and, you know, get your attention that way. So I'm gonna upload it in the video so you know it's me. You can see the surrounding, you can see the arms, you can see the, you know, everything. Okay, I'll leave it there, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and light.